Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Zapier with Notion in 2024. So if you're a productivity authors or a Notion user, this integration will take your workflows to the next level. Whether you're managing some tasks, databases, or notes, connecting Zapier to Notion will help you automate various actions and syncs your data across apps. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, go to the CRL section and make sure to open both notion.com and zapier. So zapier.com and hit the enter button. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken to those, uh, to this, of course, in Zapier, you'll be taken to another page. I'll show it to you. But now let's just go and start as an example. Once you're logged in, you'll find yourself here. So for Notion, as an example, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself here. So click on login at the top right corner to log in into your account. If you have an account, if you don't have an account, click on get Notion for free to start creating an account. For me, I'll just go and click on login in here. Of course, you can even request a demo if you want to. And as we said for like uh, Zapier, if you just like it's your first time, you can go and create an account using Google. And if you have an account again, you can click on login to log in into your account and you can use Google, Microsoft, uh, uh, Facebook account to log in into your account. And if you don't have an account, you can use just Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So once you're logged in, as we said, you'll find yourself here. For Notion, it's going to be the same. You can log in using Google, Apple. Or you can go and create your account. I guess using also Google and Apple. So for me, I'll just go here and log in with Google. And because I guess it's my first time logging in this browser. So let me just go here and log in very fast and very easy. So as you can see, you find this, this pop out here. You'll have to choose your Google account. For me, I'll just go and click on this one specifically. And in here, as you can see, so let me just wait for the page and set load. I'm already connected right away. Good to go. So Notion, once you're connected, of course, you'll find yourself here. And for me, what you'll need to do, of course, in this video, we'll show you how to use like Notion uh, in Zapier. So we'll need to go to Zapier. Once you're logged in, you can just close this. You don't need this anymore, or especially right now. So once you go to Zapier, of course, make sure to go to this left panel, click on apps in here. And we'll have, of course, to connect Notion account or our Notion account to Zapier. So go here to search apps, look for Notion or type Notion. And you'll find Notion here. For me, it's already connected, but I'll still go and show you how to connect it. So I'll just go here and click on connect. And as you can see, once you are here, I'll have just to wait a little bit until this loads. And they basically will not ask me to log in because I'm already logged in. All they need to ask me as an example is requesting to access, like Zapier is requesting to access uh, the those informations like Zapier will have connection if you allow it, of course, to view the pages you select. It is the pages you select, create a new content with the pages you select and view workspace users and their emails. So click on select pages. And for me, I'll just select all the pages, like everything, then click on allow access. So once I click on allow access, I give it access to all the pages. Of course, for you, you can just select the pages that you want to give access to. It's fine. You don't have to worry about like uh, Notion, uh, not Notion, like Zapier or something like that. So you don't have to worry about it. For me, it's already connected like before in here. So I'll just go and delete this connection. So yeah, it deleted. Now, once it's connected, you can simply go to this left panel, click on create, then click on create or zaps. This will take you here. Here where all the fun starts. Now you can start using Notion with Zapier very easy. How to use it? It's totally actually up to you because here you can connect Zapier or not Zapier Notion with over 7,000 apps. So you can automate stuff between Notion and other stuff as well. I don't want uh, or I don't know exactly what do you want to connect or what do you want to automate with Notion. So I'll leave it to Copilot. I want as an example, you can use that. It's AI tool that will help you out. So I want to uh, automate something with Notion to test this out. For you, you can just type connect maybe Notion to Gmail. Okay. Of course, after that, you'll have to connect your Gmail account. So whatever account you choose or app you choose, you'll have to connect it as well. So keep that in mind. 
So example here, let's just see the suggestion they'll, they will give me. Uh, what specific, I don't have a specific thing, specific like thing, just do a random app as example. Okay, specific is not written like that, but it's fine. It's AI, so it will understand even if it's a mistake. And once it choose everything in here, as example, you can automate actions, as example, between Notion, when I receive a new database item, it will find like some bit link. Why not? I'll just go and add it. Here, all you need to do, just go and fix all the issues if there are some issues. So an example, in Notion, so the first step is to choose the trigger. Of course, you can change it afterwards. If you want the trigger to be a new data uh, base uh, item, you can choose that. If you want updated page, you can choose that and etc. For configure, it will be different depending on the action that you choose. So click on continue and make sure to test it out. The same, of course, will be for Bitly. So test it. If you have a check button, that means all good. So let's just check if there's a check button on testing. So yeah, as you can see, check button. That means all tested. You'll have to do the same with Bitly. Of course, if you want, if you don't want to choose Bitly, you can change it from here to whatever app you want. As you can see, seven thousand apps plus. You can find all the apps that you want in here. Just select the app that you want. Maybe as an example, Gmail. So maybe uh, when I receive something in here in Notion, new database, Gmail should go and create maybe a draft. So then click on continue, change this configure, choose the subjects as an example and the body and etc. Just then test it out. Once it's tested, you'll find the check button here. If both checked, you can simply just publish it and the automated thing that you choose in here as an example, it will be automated forever until you disable it. So that's how you use basically Notion on uh, Zapier. So that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching. And of course, if you have an issue, you can leave it down below in the comment section. I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching again, and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.